very hot. <laughs> awesome. Well, I've always been on unstable, Gore. It, it, it's you, fucks, man. <laughs> sake until what time are we planning on playing every Friday? Oh, I... oh yeah, I was just yeah. curious. <laughs> Yo, you're, you're, you're not doing it right. Sorry, my English can't So, Gamma Fox says, there's video, there's glorious 1080p, 60 frames per second video. What's that sound? Or could spell it himself. <laughs> I think. Oh, Gork is typing. That's what it is. Is he hearing talk? Like I said, Gork is playing with himself. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> How do you know what Gork sounds like when he plays with himself? <laughs> We're, we're guys, we know what a guy sounds like when he plays with himself. Now the question is how many guys have you listened to playing to themselves to know how it compares to you playing with yourself? Mm, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what we're not answering. <laughs> Very differently. I heard. <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're just playing with this all the fun. Good guys, dude, we understand it's fun. Alright, also, sound is coming through on your video side, which is funny. 
I see. You mean the viewers are listening to all the crap we're talking? Yes, yes, they are. Okay. So. <laughs> hey, at least, at least the viewers know we're all here. <laughs> Gork well, 2000. Uh, okay, to explain to Camera Fox what Lucky Packet Party is, it's a big, it's a big, um, it's a special thing in South Africa. Lucky packets are something that you get in South Africa. I don't know where else around the world they come from, but I know that we get them in South Africa. And hello, Choose! And what's up, Choose? And we are known as the Lucky Packet Park, Lucky Packet Park tea because of we are different people. It's basically a lucky packet. And you open it, and you see what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, let the speak now. Okay, guys. So basically, as as if the PS said, it's a, it's a lucky packet, specifically South African. It's a it's, it's a toy thing for kids. They open it up, you know. They sometimes get some sherbets and some sweets and maybe a small plastic mm -hmm. toy. Lucky. Is that like Kinder Joy? It's like the yes, it's like Kinder Joy. Yeah, I got hundred yeah, pitties. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. Exactly like Kinder Joy. Yes. That's exactly like Kinder Joy. So the reason why we're going Lucky Packet Party is because we're not a standard role-playing party using a not standard system. Instead of having the, the brave fighter, you know, the staunch cleric, the mighty wizard, and either the bard or the rogue, the tricky rogue, you know, taking the scene and you know, being, yeah, be doing the thing, we have these guys. <laughs> Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there and out all geeks. And whoever does watch the SA Gakes, the SA Gakes knows exactly who is speaking right now. <laughs> uh, yes, the SA Geeks. <laughs> I like what 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 Kama is typing. <sighs> Me too. Apparently, your voice is louder than ours. Yes, Kama. <laughs> Really? Am I over my head say that it sounds the same about? Well, sounds the same in my as well. Maybe yeah, we just make this big louder. Now the thing is, is on stream it actually tends to happen. I think yeah, it I think it prioritizes the the streamer's audio output over the rest. Yes, so we will just talk louder. Is it a problem, um, Gigoscopy? Yeah. Can you can you clearly hear the players? You know, the actual people? Oh. Well, we assumed you were from South Africa, Camera Fox, when you responded from LARPing on our previous jesting. Not only that, though, but freaking Foxy next. Come on, that's yeah. a South African thing. <laughs> it, it, it has got to be a South African thing. So, why is there only one cam going tonight uh, or for the foreseeable future? Uh, me as GM, it's important to have it, the GM on cam. And the other guys, oh, yeah. we will be getting there one day when everybody has their own dedicated cam um, to have them, you know, on cam as well. So for the time being, we have to make do with the um, well picks for now. Only me plopping the blopping. I'm not Ziff Diffy this time, I'm plopping the blopping. <laughs> bloppin', and, bloppin'. And to, to, anyone, to anyone who knows the SA Geeks, they know that Ziff Diffy is a name that I got from one of our cats. But it's not about us, and so just... <laughs> just giving back on the characters. So Geekoscopy can hear them clear, but their voices are softer. The volume is fair enough. Okay, cool. As long as the volume is fair enough and people and their voices are clear, I am happy. I'm so Jinjo Senferi. Oh my gosh. Hello, Senferi. It's Angelique and Jake. I have no idea who that is. I am sitting, I'm sitting here going, ah, I should probably know who they are. I got no idea. You do, but you don't. But you do, but you don't. Don't but you remember you do, the only reproduction story. The what now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Let's get back Let's, to the game. Let's get back to the game. Before we sidetrack this completely. Right, cool. So we have been offline now for a bit, right? And things have gotten a little bit thing. Quick recap. The party went down the road. They talked to the guards at the tower. They handed them their, um, you know, passes. It was signed and stamped by the Lord Spindler himself. Um, 
Yes, Lord Spindler himself to uh, stamp their passes. The drawbridge have been lowered and the party is welcomed with open arms into the town. We can't see the town. They I know. Run. I have not opened the town yet. No. I'm a bad I'm GM. No, Rel, Rel, Rel is too busy staring at the ass of some security, some, some guard. Yeah, yeah. Those really sexy, sexy ass. And now, oh, and now Gork has to go and, 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 and motherfucking recreate the ACDC window capture because fuck you, OBS. Because this... <laughs> And it, to those of you who don't know, he's saying OBS, it just happens to be OBS. <laughs> OBS. There we go. Well, oh, I um, think we are heading we towards the tavern yeah. in this point. <laughs> at some point, we'll get there. Have a great game, guys. <laughs> you have your ale at some point, or your whatever it is that you're looking for. No. We, we're getting there. Just we'll, yeah, we'll get there. We're getting to the tavern part That's shortly. Okay. Uh, if your, your borders are fine, you need to adjust the map. Shush! I am a GM! This is my <laughs> map to adjust! <laughs> there, how does it look now? Good. Good, it's yeah, there. It's fine. Welcome. You can totally see Sagan and you can totally see the Watchtower. Oh! Oh. As you guys cross the bridge, um, you, you know, you enter the, the quaint town of Sagan. And there's like a big board that says, you know, welcome Zigan. And welcome to Zigan. You know, on the other side of the drawbridge. Very, you know, once again, handcrafted, not painted on, but, but etched into the wood and burned. Very, you know, handiwork. Very um, great care has been given uh, to creating this town board. You know, it's much, it was made of great pride and it also looks to be uh, taken good care of. With varnish, you know, to protect, to protect it from the elements. Um, yeah. But that's not the most important part. You notice what you do notice is a long street, the main street leading through the town, um, with business and sh with business businesses shops lined on either side of the road, um, with a big building on the far side of the town. Um, that is obviously the town hall. And now that you are have a clear and unobstructed view of how the town looks and the town hall, you see that the arches on the on the town hall. Right, it's got these like beautiful, graceful arches that connect and meet at the top. Um, that is most definitely Elvish design and make. This is something that humans also do. They take um, standing structures and incorporate it into their own their use. So these beautiful arches okay, uh, with like, you know, clearly Alvin design cut, uh, designs, flowing designs cut into them have been repurposed to become the front wall of a meeting hall. Lazy asses can't even do their own designs. Seriously? It's oh. Thrifting. It's called thrifting. <laughs> no, they're just lazy asses. They're just building on top of other buildings. They're just lazy. You just reuse what's there. You don't waste resources, especially if it's pretty resources. She does make a point on that country. one. You know that. You come from the southern borders. You know that. There's no such thing as, as keeping old things. You destroy it and make something new out of it. Or destroy it and keep it destroyed. One of the two. In this case, they do seem to have honored the, the architecture of our ancestors. Well, then then I can honestly say I'm happy about that. At least they managed to keep our ancestry alright. Am I right, Talana? <laughs> Talana. Talana. My name is Talana. Yes, thank you. Yes, My you're right. Is... Right. See, only the two El actually understand that Elven architecture is very important. Actually, you see... architecture is not that important because if you think about it, what's more important than like buildings is food. If you don't have food, you die, and if you die, you're dead. Which oh, means God, nothing exists for you anymore. <laughs> so, where's the tavern? The there oh, is the, the, the building on the right hand side to the center of the town. 
that has, you know, a large smokestack on its roof. It's puffing away warmly, welcomely. Um, it's a double-story building. Um, and it has outside the normal horse trowel. And there's a small stable behind it. So that you kind of, kind of can assume that the tavern is there. It's the center meeting point of the town. More than this, once the draw, you know, as you guys cross the drawbridge into town, you start, you know, getting into the town proper past the first few buildings. Um, people line the streets. They come out of their shops. They come out, you know, they, they lean out of the windows to look down on you. Children come laughing and pointing and dancing your way. A whole gaggle of them. Yes. Look at them. Point. Giggle. <laughs> Then jump off the wagon, and then I'm basically a small, uh, like, at the height of the children, like, hey, wanna play? Two twins are like, you know, immediately by your side. <gasps> You're a funny old looking child, but yeah, sure! <laughs> so, I'm we'll play a triplets of girls, you know, you know, you know, tangle their hair, um, all their fingers through your hair. They giggle loudly as they point at your hairy feet. <laughs> what kind of child are you? child and more like a, a small big person which is also kind of interesting but fine <laughs> oh, will you tell us stories what's it like out there have you met missionaries have you met any missionaries you see you know what missionaries two children come running along the wagon as you guys are mosing up the street people are clearly talking amongst themselves pointing at you but not with anger or fear, but with, you know, laughter and gladness in their eyes, you know, with great intrigue and interest. Uh, two children, a boy and a girl, obviously twins, point, uh, you know, point at um, uh, you, Blappen, and they start, you know, you know, like, 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 like oh, 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 is it? A missionary has returned! Oh boy. <laughs> Children, come here! Come, come here! Look, look! It's a missionary! It, uh, it must be a missionary! We need to tell Father! Oh, before you go, hold up. Yes? Stick out your hands. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Suddenly you've got the, you know, nine hands <laughs> you're like yeah. filling the area directly in front of you. Yeah. And the like little pow the backpack I have. Yeah. Just kind of reach, reach uh, behind me and grab this like giant sack of like sweet dried fruit and some nuts. And I'm like, here, go nuts. I mean, have nuts. They, like, eagerly grab at it and stuff their faces. And you can see their eyes, you know, glaze over in wonder. At, you know, the taste and wonder of dried fruit and glazed nuts. So oh, sweet! So oh, good! Oh, no, thank you! It is warm! I happily go away. One turns around and looks at you and says, You'll play with us some more later, yeah? Depends on if can actually get access to the tavern's kitchen, but sure, we'll see what we can do. The child nods and winks. Yes, what do you want to know? There were nine hands. Where's the tenth? I think you meant nine kids. Nine kids. Here's a family that I suppose. It's a bit confusing here. Okay. Nine hands. One of you. It's okay. <laughs> Little Charlie had an accident. That's you can all pick out a stump, not a head. Make me all of you another perception check as you're like walking along the road. Nope. Still standard plus twenty. Yep, standard plus twenty. Right, forty-three under fifteen. Okay. The town is by any looks and standard. Um, very well looked after in terms of the buildings. Uh, the people take great pride in, in their town. 
the streets are clean. Notice I say the streets are clean. All right. The streets are paved. Clean. All right. Well, I rolled a 40. And if it's vision that we're rolling for, then I rolled um, excellent vision as well, just plus 10. Cool, cool, cool. Um, excellent. You notice the people oh, who are standing around about, you know, on, on mm, outside of the street. Yeah, okay. 38 plus also excellent vision 10. Right. The both of you noticed this, right? Apart from just the buildings being really well kept and looked after and, and you know, they are well maintained, really well maintained. The people in town are all siblings, are all not just siblings, they are twins and triplets and quadruplets. Everybody has a doppelganger with them. They're all, by human standards, very handsome and very pretty. Um, I told Kez, you, mister, I told you. Kez, you notice further, right, that the almond-shaped, you know, the tinges that, 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 that you saw on the guards outside, there's a lot of people in here with the same uh, features and traits. Um, the some of the children that were running away just now had funny tipped ears. You know? Yeah, not not like long ears, but tipped. Yes. And some of the women um, have very angular features and you know, facial features with long with long fingers, longer than what a normal human's fingers should be. Uh, so, you know, Faye touched. Even Tari, like, looks around in amazement. He says, definitely Faye touched. This is a town, mm. this town has been blessed by the Faye of old. Yeah, and now obviously Talana is catching that. The elves that pick this up. They are super awesome. Because no, I don't care. Because it's the nature we know. So it's fine. Uh, and it just one pie. Just one pie. Yeah. So across the road from the tavern is it's a it's a local market stall. It's local market stall is like it's nothing like that that you would like find in a big city. It's like you would find in a typical a smaller town where there's one main street and everything is lined next to it. Um, so the market st but these market stalls are very large, and um, you can easily identify that the. But let me just have a look. That the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, uh, each has a proper shop instead of just a stall. There's also <laughs> there's also a a bookseller. A small school in town. Um, this is a proper bustling town. This isn't just, you know, a drive through But more than that, more than anything else I can do notice is from the food stalls. The, f the vegetables and fruit on sale are, you know, you've, you've never, never in your life seen quality like that. Not in size. Not in how it looks, like in freshness. It, 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 just seeing them makes you desire them. You, you just that, 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 that thing of, can an apple be that size? What would it actually, can it shine like that by itself? Can, how does it taste? It must be from the gods itself, the way it looks. Yeah, can I roll for willpower? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna roll for willpower quickly. I don't know if I've said this. Okay, it's uh, 50, but I've also got a five a plus five percent to willpower to my willpower. Gork team. two thousand. Gork okay. two thousand. I just fucked up. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, cool. Three, three, three. Okay, cool. So you made your willpower check. You um, you resist the compulsion to do what you want to do. He rolled 50 over, like, 30 something. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So what is it, what is troubling you, sir? Why, why did you want to roll a willpower check for yourself? I don't trust 
trust the food. <laughs> <laughs> you wrinkle your nose in disgust. As you know that there is no natural way any food and grow to that concern. You have not seen vegetables or fruit like that in Ulf One's um, in our cities and streets. This yes. must be the work of something sinister. But no one believes me. <laughs> <laughs> The tavern is welcoming, warm, and has a large front porch. Um, in the breeze, on the light breeze that, that is blowing currently, uh, you know, the tavern sign hangs. It's a beautiful, beautiful sign, embossed with copper etchings. You know, its name is Boston Copper. Uh, it's beautifully painted design. It is called the Vittles and Bicker. Yes. The what? The Vittles and Vicar. Uh, okay. Vittles means food. Grub. Chow. Yeah, uh, I forget that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a, it's like, it, you know, it, it, the, the, the logo is just like this jolly fat uh, priest eating a, a, a ham yeah, hog. It's grub and some, and some, uh, Sitting in the <laughs> oh, welcome, it is fucking spur. Welcome to the surf and turf special. <laughs> um, can so kind of go out. <laughs> no, the, but the thing is, like, for, you would expect the roadside tavern to look like this tavern does, not a small tavern in a in a town. Um, whatever this town is, whatever is going on here, the people are well looked on. You know, this is. And see, they take, they are very self-conscious and take pride in their image and it, and their town's image. Um, and they are friendly, they're welcoming, and they really want you to tell them stories about the outside world from what you've learned so far about this town. I don't, I don't mind telling them stories, <laughs> but I'm not giving them any of my information. <laughs> I am very cautious. Tari, on the other hand, is is you, know, you, you sense that he is greatly relieved. You know, he's he like you know he's he's like smiling all the way, waving at people. You know, he's like such a friendly town. I wish the rest of the empire would learn from them. Yeah, I've never trusted his instincts to. <laughs> this is the man who says, you know, who, who said once to you. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Like, uh, I'm a child who can't even ride a horse. And then he, 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 he fucked up his stirrup jump onto the horse's back and nearly broke his neck. Yeah. Exactly. And you wonder why I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what did you say? Yes? We're going to the tavern. We're going to have some food. The tavern doors, the tavern doors are flung open. You know, it swings inwards. From inside steps forth a robust man with a handlebar moustache. It's grey. You know, he's grey hair and he's got a black moustache. He's got very hairy arms around the belly. His apron is neat and tidy and clean. And he steps out, you know, in front of you. From behind him, fans out three, tri uh, three women, triplets, all of them. All of them wowly beautiful. And, you know, and they immediately take up position uh, beside him as if in waiting. Guests to our town, welcome! I am Simon. These are my daughters. Would you be requiring uh, some refreshment? Oh, yes, please. What do you have? Do you have a menu or do you have like a... Oh, my dear boy, we have only the finest of, of victuals in all of the Empire. And that I can assure you, we also provide lodgings that are fit for kings and lords alike. Right, but I'm not a king or a lord, so I 
that you don't need to be to sleep in one of my beds. Come on in, come on in. Say, <laughs> say, are you going to stay a while? Yes, we'll stay a while and listen. No, no, no. I don't want you. I don't want you to listen. I want us to listen. Come, 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 come. These are my daughters. A uh, uh, day worker in a tavern, <laughs> and they all you know, give a curtsy, a bow, a giggle, and hungrily look you all over. Are they the only ones in the tavern? The tavern is quite full with farmers. You know, farm hands that have come from the fields to you know quench their thirst. But there are some. You know, other people moving about, but you can see it's a mix of uh, there's a mix of people, but sure, st strong family resemblances everywhere. Behind the ca the bar counter, I mean the, this bar counter, is an exquisite work of art. It's you know it it it's the the sto it's a story of a hunt of a stag being chased by wolves and running through a forest. It's like you know in the fucking counter itself um there's the slab on top polished dark cherry wood highly prized anywhere in the old world polished to a sheen perfectly preserved you know the, the chairs are immaculate or like you know immaculate designs the couches and the booths are, are well made the tables each and every single one of them looks like it was a work of art a work of love and a work of Labor. Um, it is. Mm, you're not just in any old tavern, a normal tavern. You are in in somebody's, you know, dream inn. Right, great. Well, I'll look around to see if anyone looks different from someone else. They all seem to look the same. I make me another perception someone. check. He doesn't look the same. Right? You need to make me a perception check for this, please. Yes. From behind, just one last thing. One last thing. As you guys are bustled in and given a booth, from behind the counter, uh, uh, Simon 2 is standing and uh, cleaning a glass, and he friendly waves at you. You know, he friendly waves at you as you enter. He says, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Drinks will be served shortly. And he like, continues cleaning his glass. My mother and my sister. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 13 is vision or hearing that I'm trying to look out for? A vision. Vision. Okay, so just quickly, because yes, you're yes, yes. To this problem often, quickly, how do you use your skills? That plus 10 you get, you don't add that to your roll. You add that to the number on your character sheet and you want to roll underneath that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because it sounds okay. like you were wanting to add your plus 10 to your roll, and that's bad. You want to roll as low as possible, mm -hmm. and that plus 10 gives you a bigger gap to roll in because it's making the number on your character sheet bigger. All right, so it's plus 10%. Do I roll plus 10% no, so over the 30%? Your perception is 31, it means it's now 41, and you want to roll less than 41. Hmm? Make sense? <laughs> and if Gorg gives you any extra numbers, like it's easier... Any bonuses. That'll yeah. make you 41 uh, okay. into a 61, and you want to roll less than 61. Alright, so do I add plus 10 to advance then, if that's the case? Yes. Alright, and then I have to add an extra 20 for the acute hearing, which is also perception. Yes. Well, if that's only if you're busy hearing something. Yeah, but, yeah, but in sorry, this so case, I'm you're looking to... because... I'm it, looking. Okay. You're looking, you're looking. Actually. Cool. So, what is your total? My total is 13. <laughs> that's amazing. Your elven eyes see only family everywhere. Not everybody is related with each other. They're different family. Yeah, but trust is like sinking faster and faster as I look at this. Um, you know. We know how to hang out. This looks like a this looks like a typical <laughs> mood party. It's it it, it is it is it is it is rather it is rather weird. You know, you've you've never encountered this. You know, twins. 
triplets. They're all intermingling, you know, sitting at, at different tables with different people. But you, in that instance, like, immediately like, checked out everyone, checked their facial features, looking for that one person that stands out. That, you know, normally in a bloody, normally in a bloody inn, if there's 30 patrons, there is none alike. And, and, and I mean, here we have carbon copies. And not only that, they're all pretty. They're all handsome. They don't have any skin blemishes. They don't have any uh, scars from, from, from bar fights or brawls. They all have their limbs and digits. You know? They have they have hair that shines like bloody sunlight on, on grain fields after a, after a spring rain. I don't know if I could question anyone about this. I would rather speak to the party and just tell them, listen, there's something not right about the people that are here. Nonsense! Nonsense! They're friendly! <laughs> Ari is just like, you know, looking around. He's sitting down by, by, by uh, you know, one of the tables. And he's like, you know, staring at the servant girl, who, you know, one of the daughters. He's like staring at her in 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 glamorous fascination, like like he is, like as if he is almost ensorcelled by her. So only the elves can see this kind of stuff. I'm, a, I, I'm kind of I'm watching Talana as she walks down the pathway. I'm staring at her ass before she's. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, no, uh, Tari. Oh, no, no, he does, but that doesn't mean I can't look. Precisely. <laughs> the romance grows over time, my dear. Exactly. Not overnight, unless the killer is involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. He, he, you know, he turns to you, but his eyes are firmly on the girl who is waiting to take your orders. Snap, snap. He looks down at you. Um, you can see his um, face is red. His cheeks are red. If this were an anime scene, he would be gushing blood out of his nose. Mister. Um. Um. What were you saying? What was I doing? Oh. Looking at the lady's, I think, bosoms, but... What? I bosoms? Know, I do not look at... I, I do not look at... You. Uh, How dare you insinuate that I would fancy a... a, a, a human? Of all so, things, and his eyes stray back to her. But, well, but I do say that they're... they're just not I completely. I fingers in front of him and say, Monster, snap out of it. <sighs> Back to you. Ha! Ah! I know. I know. Yes! This is fantastic! We are definitely near old Alvi civilizations. We have to be. There's no other explanation for it. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you um? Are we, can, we, can I take your order? Um, or should I come back later? You can come right now. I mean, just hold on. What is wrong with me? Help me! And he grabs you, Edgar. He grabs you and he shakes you. Why am I like this? Well, why? You're like super old. So, some, some things tend to like limp at that age, and when the drive goes overboard, and then you kind of just want to do things that you can't anymore. So, you need to take magical supplements for that. But unfortunately, you can't do that because if you take too much magic, you explode because you're like this big, awesome person. And um, I don't know, maybe we just need to find out some information. Let me go talk to the tavern person. I think we need to go. He, he looks at you, he stares at you. His eyes well up with tears. He's like, I'm so broken. <laughs> Why is it that the half humans make me want to me? <laughs> I also <laughs> I leave. He's 
you leave. Oh, freaking supersonic. Um, JP, please have a fight point. I start, I start have dragging eight? him out. Please have an additional way. fight point. That was brilliant, in my opinion. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> my pleasure. I sit at the table that had an open spot and introduce myself to the friendly people and pretend like I don't know these fucking weirdos. They all they all look shocked at you know at the fact that you just sat down with them without asking. They look first and foremost shocked. Unafraid, be back later. Have fun! Thank you, Camel Fox. It was awesome to have you along. Uh, so Thank they you. look they look truly and utterly shocked that you were so rude. And right, then can, and can I, can I hold on, and hold on, okay. hold on. You know they look shocked. They look mm -hmm. you know. What the fuck? You introduce yourself? They like look at you some more. Um and then and then they're like <gasps> So Gonna stay long? Um I don't know, it depends what your lovely little town has to offer. Um I'm sorry if I was rude sitting down and invited. It is the custom where I'm from to just Join a conversation. Where you're from? Where are you from? How's it like uh, there? Well, Altdorf is a very, very, <gasps> and it's there's so many people. Like your little town will fit into one of hundreds of little suburbs, but it's also very dirty and noisy, and there's so many people. Your 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 street rat instincts kick in that 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 oh shit feeling a lot of people around you are very interested in what you are saying you, there's there was like a simultaneous scuffle of of, of chairs uh, moving across floors as people moved closer to your table they moved they turned their bodies in a the direction their eyes swivel around you you've you've had this before you know, normally people right right before people start branding you as a naysayer, heretic, and whatnot, and then um, proceed to kill you or want to kill you. The back, you know, the hair in the back of your neck is. <laughs> but please continue. But please continue. I... Sorry. While that is happening, before she continues, oh. I think I can sense this and if I can I, I try and get everyone out of the tavern as sneakily as we can without getting the the attention of everyone listening to Rel before we have to save her at the very last minute a, a gentle kind hand pushes you down your seat and turn around to see Ari looking at you through tearful eyes and in that instant of you making eye contact with him you know that he is like he at peace we need to, we need to find out we need to be here just know that in that in, instant that is what he is that is his intentions and what he means for you I sit down quietly then. Your, your, um, your master is putting on an act. An act for all to see. Bit of an over the top dramatic effect, but he is definitely putting on an act. So then we just listen to Rel tell her story. Do you, What do you do, Rel? Do you stop speaking? Do you speak louder? Do you. What do you do? Oh well, no, I, I have the crowd's attention now. So, what do you want to know about my own, about Altor for the rest of the Empire? I have so many stories to entertain you. Please tell me what you would like to hear. I, I, I've heard rumors that there's, that there's people, lots and lots of people, but they're living on top of one another. And, and 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 they and they share like five people to a bed or a room. Is that true? Do they do they really live on top of one another in small little shacks and rat holes? They're called rat holes, yes. In some places, yes. 
yes, there's a vast division of wealth, and some people have a whole um, manor with land as big as your town just for themselves, when some of the rest of us are forced to live in uh, yeah. five to a room. But like, you know, instantaneously you, you, you see disgust across the room, like, like a... <gasps> No, the, 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 this world. Are, are people that poor that they can't afford to sleep in their own beds? In some places, yes. Especially the bigger cities. And <coughs> there are stories about what it looks like. Rubble, 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 rubble. You know, but 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 they, they calm down. They they prefer to, to, to not be too shocked about, you know, the, the, the bad of, of the they would rather listen to you about you know, what it's actually like. We had a, you know, one person like lean, leans forward and says, we had a traveling troop here, uh, not so long ago, a couple of months, who, who said they went to Altdorf, but but they but they said they they went to, to, to the nobles, and, and they had to perform for the nobles. What's it like, the nobles? They said the nobles were rude. The nobles have enough money to help all those people who live five to a room to not have to do that, but they keep the wealth to themselves because they're selfish. <gasps> people would be like that? People would not help their fellow neighbor? Oh, oh is a... Yes. <laughs> the people immediately... They... They, they found a huge clay. In, in Altdorf. Yeah, right. I know, I it has to come out now from time to time. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'm getting thirsty from all this talking. Can I have an ale and then you tell me what it's like here and what you lovely people <laughs> while I have a cup of ale? Finally, the, the, the servant girl is like, oh, thank God, one of them is ordering something. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, um, uh, what is your preference in ale? So, where I'm from, I've, there's only one option, which is whatever that tavern has on offer. So, whatever you would recommend, lovely lady. Do you like strong or light ale? Let's go for light so I can keep talking longer. Light as the breeze and swift as the wind. But, but it will quench your fist all the same and lovely on the taste. Elvish pale ale. Elvish pale ale. I do not think I have ever had the pleasure. A rare, a rare, a rare beverage, even in this part of the world. But coming right up, then to the rest of the rest of you. Um, you, um, master, uh, what would you like? Wine, red wine, good red wine. Um, which vintage in here? Uh, what uh, do you prefer um, from from the from Arabi? Uh, do you prefer from Tilia, or do you prefer the more berry wines from um, Athelorn or um, Ulfwan? Just like Tari sits there and like, looks at him. Go, you have what in stock now? Um, berry wine from Ulfwan. I would like to sample this. Coming up. Thanks to Master Alf. Would you uh, like something to drink? No, I'll pass. Thank you very much. We do have fresh spring water available I'm from the local like spring. I have water on my pouch. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, lady? Uh, she like looks over at Delana with a bit of a Oh my word, why don't you look better after yourself look? <laughs> I'm alright, thank you. Now she bobs her head and then you know, rushes off to the, to, the, to the counter to place your order. Simon too turns around and masterfully pours a couple of glasses and one mug with your but requested about drinks. Boy, and his pies. Well, I'm already no. at the counter, so when he actually turns around and does the drinks and stuff, I yeah. just look up and I'm like, Hi, Simon! <laughs> Hello, young master! You're a strange one, aren't you? 
Uh, uh, are that. you are you a child or a dwarf? I'm not too sure. There's no offense meant, of course. Neither. And I like kind of jump onto the counter and I'm like, look at my hairy feet. I'm sorry my feet are on your counter though, but this should be okay. I'll totally wipe it off afterwards. This is like hairy feet because I'm a halfling and that's like a tiny big person for most people. Get off my counter, you! You know what now? Everybody, I think this is the first time we are entertaining a halfling guest. All the people in the tavern, like, you know, turn around and, like, look at the dancing halfling on the counter. Hooray! I'm not dancing, I'm just standing. I'm seriously. They think you're dancing. They're assuming you're dancing. Well, you're gonna start dancing now. They're cheering! Come on, this is a glorious day. We shall commemorate this day as the meeting of the halflings. We've never had one of your kind in our place before. Never. It's, it's an honor to meet you, sir. And he gives out, you know, his big meaty hand for you to shake. I grab it with both hands and I'm like, oh, thank you very, very much. I, I, I know I can finally, finally, uh, from the horse's mouth, if this is authentic. Reaching behind him, he turns to a massive barrel, uh, which he which he corks, uh, taps, uh, and pours out a mug for you. I'm I mean like a mug as if a fucking dwarf is drinking now. Mug. Okay. Taste that and tell me if it's real. Do you know what it is? Just you should know. You're a halfling. Hell, I pay I pay for my nose for a barrel of this stuff every time the trader comes along. Hold up, hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's, an, uh, it, it's a drink. It's a, it's a, it's a tasting test. Um, it's, you know, you can make me a roll on that. It's a perception roll. Okay. But I'll give you a plus 40 bonus on it because of its familiarity. It's uh, all to your palate. Right, well, I'm first going to smell it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna apply as much as the evaluate skill you can apply to. Oh, go for it! Go for it! Dop. Go for it! Yes, yes, yes. As much as you can apply to a dop. A dop, dop, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, <laughs> right. So you say forty. If I get a forty extra, so this would be a forty-two under. 72. Oh hells yeah! That's the real deal. That's the good shit. That's the stuff that comes out in the mood festivals twice a year only, um, and sometimes at sometimes at weddings. <laughs> yep, yep, oh yep. My, this, is, this is this is this is great. This, this is half foots elderberry pear cider. How? Where'd you get it? Uh, we get it by trade, of course. You see, it, it's fucking truly amazing. This stuff is in high demand, like very high demand. How 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 a human village would get their hands on a on a single barrel of this is quite you know astounding. Uh, a village, not a lord of the land, not a noble, a, a high wizard, a a Sultan of Arabi, a village. Exactly, which is why I want to apply gossip to this now. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, uh, Simon looks very, you know, he's, 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 he's like, you know, he, he, he's, he's found validation. He has found surety in your words. He, his eyes gleam in joy. We can find gossip because I've been gossip as well. <laughs> right, so I, if I'm not even adding any bonus, yeah. I've got 24 under 56. Oh my fudge. So I'm like, Simon, this is amazing. You say you get this from a trader. Do you know who this trader is? Is he a human or is he an elf? Is he part of the um, missionaries that come into town every so recently? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, Old, um, it, it, oh, strangely enough, well, he's basically the only trader that that, that we here in in, in Ziggen, uh, deal with. Uh, old, old Bernd, Bernd Fishinger. I say Bernd Fishinger. 
Never heard of name before. Never heard. It's, 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 it's like it, it's a human trader, obviously. Yeah. So writing it down. Cool. <laughs> okay. Right. Burn fishing there. Uh, yes, uh, basically, yes, he's the only person that we uh, really trade with. Uh, outside of the Lord's men, of course. Uh, who we gladly share our, our good fortune and good um, crops with. As payment for, the, you know, the tax payments, yes. Tax benefits, you say? What type of tax benefits? <laughs> A little bit of this, a little bit of that. The Lord's the tax man around here. Uh, he knows his ways in and out of the Lords of Talabakland and Talabheim. Oh, you know, every bloody day there's a new law on alcohol. Every bloody day there's something new. Oh, incidentally, oh, you need to pay for him drinks. Um. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, so, um, like, you know, squints his eyes, looks over at his daughter, whispers to her. She, she, like, you know, looks over to you. She, like, you know, sighs deeply. Looks, uh, turns to you and says, The drinks will be seven gold pieces, please. Oh, no, certainly. <laughs> and uh, you, 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 <laughs> your, 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 no, no, JP, your spine <laughs> freezes at, 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 at during the, the price. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's fine. I can totally okay with that. And I jump him down. Yeah. Walk over to the master. Like, master, seven coins, please. Gold coins. Oh, oh, um, the master blinks away from the, one of the girls who was standing across the room. And he looks down at you and says, How much now? He looks at you, Ross. Um, and he's like, How much now? Seven gold coins, my lord. He like, looks at the young guys. That's is that right? Is 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 that is that is that that, that can't be that can't be that's, that's he starts making right. you, know, you know he starts counting on his fingers and he's like How huh? how now? Not wow. even for the most expensive meal, my lord, that's too expensive. Um Raoul You hear a commotion behind you about them talking about, you know, the, the exorbitant prices. Um you know, of, of drinks and alcohol that, that, you, that your party is being charged. I ignore them and try and entice the people around me to tell me stories about the town while I wet my throat under this lovely light. That's going to cost This ale is amazing. It is. It's uplifting. You feel transformed. You've never tasted ale of this kind in your life. You're grateful for every sip you take. It. Like a small slice of heaven, uh, you know, slides down your throat with every, you know, every time you bring up the mug to your lips. Uh, this is something that you know for a fact. None of your old friends, not even your masters, not your family, nobody, ever tasted in their lives, ever, not once. Not and fuck those guys! It's yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not concerned about the price because I believe my contract with the master says he pays for some drinks. So fuck it, I'm getting my ale. Jack, I'm getting <laughs> So, we run now what is happening currently in, in in the tavern. The master and the, and and the peep, the rest of the peeps all you know, Talana, Edgar, and Plappen are discussing the the you know the bullshittery that that is that is the the cost of price of drinks. Raoul is going, oh my god, this is the best drink ever. I'm so glad I'm not paying for it. The people in the tavern about, you know, at this point in time, of 20-something, um, are, you know, have moved closer to where she is sitting on the table and listening intently to her stories of Altdorf. And, you know, and she's feeding the fires of resentment within them about the, the people, the, how the nobles treat the, the lower classes. Um, old Franz, oh, sorry, old Simon behind the bar counter is just, you know, you know, happily telling his brother, Simon, um, about the authenticity of the halfling cider. And, you know, they're really glad about it. At this point, I'm just going to ask us to take a quick break. I need some water and stuff. 
I'll be back in like, you know, and I need to take a leak. So I'll be back in like five minutes and then we can wrap it up for tonight. Okay. Cool, guys. Thank you very much. I've seen a bit. Gork 2000. So much trouble for Gork. <laughs> I don't see much trouble with causing. Everything's awesome. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you look at the team. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, we are, aren't we? We're <laughs> we're kind of destroying him here. <laughs> Actually. While we're waiting, uh, do you guys have any questions like on how the rest of the rule system works and stuff like that? You know, it, it, it seems pretty basic. The gossip skill, though, I don't have any um, any modifiers for it, though. Um, well, generally, okay, so um, the skills you got ticks for, you'll just use the characteristic for it. So you'll just use straight up fellowship for it. So basically fellowship on anything. So... What, 28 plus 5%? For me, at least. Uh, why do you get plus 5%? Oh, I don't know, because I'm Elvish. Because <laughs> uh, um, you should have, should have, in your character profile, you should have had your starting stats. Yeah. Then you have advanced, and then you have current. Yeah, I, I've got nothing on current. So current, you would... Um, Take starting plus advance plus anything you get from your talents. Like let's say you had a plus five willpower or plus five intelligence or whatever, and you add okay. it together, and that is the current. So but here, here's the issue here, though. With with mine, I've got um, excellent vision, which is perception to uh, well, ten percent perception skill and lip reading, whereas. I've got acute hearing, which is also 20% to perception, but it's involved listening. Yeah, so quickly check so, on the um, on Discord itself. I quickly went live. So I've got my character sheet open there. Oh yeah, then JP can show you on this character sheet. Um, okay, yeah. Stuff you don't input as permanent ones. Yeah, so for yeah, instance, I'm... let's go with um, agility. I've got AGI there, right? It's starting on 40, and I've got my advance. That is 10. And we added the, all those totals that we got to our current. So my current should be on 50. But okay, so I have it, lightning reflexes, which gives me a plus 5% bonus to agility. So I just add it there to my current. But it's only because okay. this specifically says it's agility, not agility in a certain situation. Yes. It's in a certain uh, situation. Okay. You don't add it to your table, you just add it manually in your head. You do yeah. Math. Like, for instance, I have resistance to chaos underneath here. So that is a plus 10% to, uh, to willpower tests to resist magic. So it's like math skills here, like you wouldn't believe, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so, my, so my willpower is 34, but if I need to roll against um, a willpower check for magic, then I add 10 to that 34, so that would put me on yeah, 44, fire. so I need to roll beneath. 44 to actually succeed. Yes, and yeah, then that makes sense. on the skill side, it'll show, um, let's say, uh, charm as an example. If you have a tick next to charm, then you'll fill in the characteristics block with whatever the associated characteristic is, which is fellowship. And then okay. if you have any related talents, like um, smooth talker or some weird shit like that, that would go into the bar next to the associated characteristics so that you would percentage put in there and then if you have something like okay. a plus 
zero plus 20, you would add that to your fellowship and you put that in the little block that says total. Yeah, and then that would be mm. your total ability that, that you, you need to roll beneath. Yeah. yeah. And um, oh. so when Wolf asks you for a check, um, you'll say if you rolled 10 and your number on your character sheet is 50, you'll tell Gork you rolled 10 under 50. Um, because if you only have a 20 on your character sheet, a 10 under 20 is not as impressive as a 10 under 50. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know this game way too well. I'm so used to D&D. &D. <laughs> this is the first time we're playing this. But we've played a percentile system before. Yeah, yeah I'm not used to this. I've played AD and D&D. &D &D. I've never actually played like yeah. this much percentiles as it, as it were. Because I mean, you know, in AD and D isn't like as as um, percentile based as it yeah. is just yeah. rolling. It works in like completely the opposite way. I know. Yes. Yeah, twenty systems works. You add stuff, whereas here you sort of yeah add stuff. Yeah, it's it, AD and D and D and D are very easy to actually roll with, whereas this is. A lot more different than I'm used to. If you get it, it'll be easy. It's pretty much you have a number on your sheet and you just mm. want to roll less than that number. Yeah, I figured that. I started, I started guessing that when I was supposed to roll under whatever I got. So I'm using the right dice for that at least. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it, it took a while to under, understand what was going on. But it's, you know, I mean, we all learn as we go along, isn't it? And the main difference between this and something like D and D is you don't add modifiers to your dice. You add modifiers to the number on your character sheet. So whatever you roll, yeah, you okay. modify that. That'll always be just what you rolled. It's just you see under that? how much you rolled. That top number, which is on your skill sheet, is the one that'll change. See, that makes sense because I've been rolling, modifying for my. Um, my stats instead of modifying for what I've been doing. So it, it makes sense now. Yeah, I thought Gork had explained. <laughs> and then when you were busy telling us that you rolled, I'm like, no, this doesn't sound like Gork has explained. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Gork explained, but I mean, obviously, you know, with, with the short time he had, the short time we had, because we obviously, we work until Gork 2000. We actually didn't have much time to explain what was going on. So, yeah, thanks to you guys, we've got a bit of an idea of what we're doing. <laughs> Hello, guys, I've just returned. Hi, Gork. How's it going? We did a rules explanation while you were gone. Yeah, they were just explaining to awesome. us what needs to happen with, with rules and whatnot. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's, that's fine by me. Girl, you guys are all up in the tavern, you're doing your things. Some of you are, you know, experiencing heart attacks. <laughs> um, Kez and I are just backing up and going, you know what? Fuck you, deal with it. <laughs> fuck you. Well, sorry, Master. This is your shit. You got us into this. I'm trying really hard to get the townspeople to also tell me some stories in between me telling them stories because I also want to know what the fuck's going on in this town. <laughs> Simon, Simon, Simon one, you know, is part of the crowd that is currently, currently intently listening to your story. And he, like, you know, bustles his way through to you and turns around to the crowd of people. Where, oh, 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 that's not, but, uh, you know, um, hold on, too many questions at once. We, we, uh, just let her have a nice drink and a rest, and I'm sure she will continue telling us some more stories about, uh, say, outdoor, yes? Yes, but I've been many places. And oh, well, other places as well. Uh, yes. So you lot go back to your own drinks for a little bit. So, uh, little lady, when he turns around to you, uh, just a quick question. Would you be uh, are you, uh, staying for the evening, uh, an evening or two? Uh, would you require some to eat, perhaps? He raises an eyebrow, it gives you a wink, wink. Okay, um... No, 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 not, not a, not, not a, not a, not a, not a, a romantic advance, wink, wink. A, a wanna make a deal, wink, wink. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, you noticed it, it's like, what? <laughs> But whether or not we are staying the night is unfortunately up to my employer. 
Oh, maybe I, uh, you can um, push these on to stay, yes? Maybe, maybe we can hear a little bit, you know, if you do stay, we would love to hear a little bit more of your story. I think the light's pretty doesn't And, uh, you know, maybe maybe if you maybe stay a long time and, and you spend the evenings telling stories here in the tavern, um, maybe, maybe just maybe it would be nice and me and Simon can can work out just a little something for you at a, at a special special discounted rate for your, for your services. That would be wonderful, and my halfling friend over here can sing stories. Your friend can sing? We have some down folk who can play some instruments as well. Not great for singing, but, but oh, he can sing stories? Yeah. You know, he, you know his, his eyes glisten. You, you know. The little big person singer I have ever heard. You know, he's, he's like. You can see that they're more starved for stories of the outside world than they are for money. These people are literally starved to know anything about what is going that, on outside of their town. That could be useful. They, 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 they really are not interested, from what you've now experienced, in talking too much about town because that's all they talk about time. And, you know, you are an outsider, and you are a tap of knowledge, a sort of knowledge. And, yeah, Simon and Simon will gladly make, a, make you an offer, a little bit of a discounted package, you know, for, to, 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 to stay a bit longer and to tell people. Uh, um, because, um, can you, yes, um, I will talk to your mother. Ask your master if, he, if he's willing to stay uh, maybe, maybe a night or two longer than his pass allows. I'll ask him, and um, can you give me, just um, give me some rates? Because I think the ale rate is a little high for him. I'm, um, I'm an old man. You shouldn't drop this on me. My heart could give out at any point, Edgar. I didn't drop it on you. I think you just slid it across. But that's totally on, up to you, man. Where is this proprietor anyway? Where is the man who, who said that I should pay? Where is his daughters? Let me speak to his daughters at least. I you! Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. No, AJ. <laughs> what you is with these prices? They are the standard rates for alcohol within the town limits of Seagan, sir. These are our basic prices after playing Texas. But as I was explaining to to your uh boy lady boy um yes yeah, so as I was explaining I, I would like to make a, a, an offer um um you know, if if you are gonna be staying in town and, and you would like to lodge with us we can give you a, a discounted rate uh, uh, in exchange for some 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 stories at night you know, stories about uh, Altdorf and and the rest of of, of the land of what is going on um. If, if, if you don't mind, and, and if you are willing willing to, to, to stay longer than, than what you are allowed, you know, even if it's just one night, uh, I, I can assure you that, that we will not speak of it. Um, and we just would like to hear more about the world and what we are being told. And you can see, like, Simon's whole face, you know, falls, and he, like, looks the man sternly over, and, he's, and he snaps his fingers... At you, Plavin. Yes, he wants his he wants his ledger. I'm supposed to just cover everything for you. You're the servant. Do your job. You're the servant. You are yeah. supposed to. You are to. You, you know. You are that high paid PA that like you know multi millionaires have. Fine. I'll look at the problem and I'll assess it as such. <laughs> However, I don't believe your charges should be added on if we're telling you the stories. You should be paying us at least room and board, along with food. That's what board means. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> and lodging. Uh, lodging. Uh, uh, the artist turns to you and he's like, thank you for negotiating. But I was actually asking for your, for, for my, for my pass. 
our permission papers. Give it right, Plumman. Well, you know what? Fine, we'll organize your your past papers. Here they are. Just take them, go away, and sort yourself out. Um, let me just see. Um, just it says here that I can uh, investigate the area for up to three days. And he shows it to Simon. Oh, no, wait, wait. You know, he takes it back from Simon. He, like, you know, takes his fingers. You know, if, if his fingers dance across the papers. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I just want to make sure it, it said what it says. And Simon reads the paper and says, Oh, oh, three days, that is plenty. That is plenty of time, indeed. Uh, yes, we can... Um, we can make arrangements for board, yes, so at least to give you a, a, a brief discount on the on board and and, and, and but 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 alcohol, uh, it's been uh, 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 how much do I'm you drink? Uh, it, it depends on uh, the, 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 the discount and me. I I I can to, I can totally cover you for your for your lot for your room um, costs uh, and for uh, meal costs, yes. I can well, give you the complete discount. Well and Lana do not drink as much as uh, Edgar does. <laughs> Edgar, I, I'm not sure. I think he should pay for his own drinks, to be honest. <laughs> I don't drink a lot, and I don't drink a little either. But you do <laughs> sing stories, <laughs> don't you? Yes, and I can totally tell you a little secret about this little dwarf, uh, like... Halfling elf thing, so that you can make it even last even longer. Halfling elf thing, what the hell are you? I can totally <laughs> give you like more stuff, and then you can give me more stuff, and then it's a win-win situation. I'm oh, very I'm sure that the uh, townsfolk here that have now heard this will be encouraged to pay for your drinks. So. I think the uh, matter is settled. <laughs> are we in agreement, then? Uh, you, you, are we in yeah. agreement? That, that, that every evening you are here and you are telling stories, correct? I won't be telling stories. Uh, my friend over there, she'll be telling stories. I'll just do some bit of singing and I'll be playing some lute if you're okay with that. If you don't okay with that, I can totally just sing. But I totally want to see what your kitchen looks like, if that is possible at all. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Uh, yes, 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 yes. You may, you may follow me to the kitchen. But we're on agreement then. Evenings, you tell stories in the day, you... What is it you are going to be doing here in town? Yes. Tari like, looks up and says, I'm investigating ruins. I'm an archaeologist. You're an archaeologist. Uh, never heard of that. Did you study ruins? Why would you study old... Dead... Um, you are not here to trade, are you? That is strange. I, I'm, I'm surprised that the Lord actually signed you papers. Huh. And something new every day. Enjoy your drinks and have a good time. Come, 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 everybody back to their tables. Leave them alone for a bit. I don't know what Evaluate does, so... Um, it tells you the value mm. of something. Tells you the value of something and whether and what's its craftsmanship, uh, what, um, what like level of craftsmanship. Awesome, so I don't need one now. <laughs> Do we each get our own room? Um, yeah, um, yes. This is a large, oh this is a large yeah. inn. Um, it's and each room is stately, meaning that um they have ensuite, for green bathroom. Sure. Oh. Oh my okay. god. Running I warm running warm water. Wow. Wow. They're cool. So so this room is equipped with basically a Lord's Suite times six. You know, for, for, for lodging purposes. Okay, Damn. So why? Why does it go to such extremity? Why? That is a good question. That is a good question. Well, good question. There. I'm uh, not asking this question. Oh, I'm just like you know, yeah, no, they're giving you some food for thought. Um, if you want to know, um, if you want to know, or 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 make assumptions about when old Simon and Simon 
and it ought is ought to be available or more available for you know talking and stuff in the mornings, early mornings is the perfect time to ambush them and you know, ask them questions about stuff and not like you know in the late afternoons or evenings when it's getting bu busy and bustling. And now with the well the, the news that spreads faster than a fart in a whirlwind um, <laughs> of, of your arrival, people are coming in their droves to the tavern. I will dress in my very, very fancy outfit for story times, since I'm the center of attention, what my good craftsmanship clothes. Yes, your good They're craftsmanship fans. clothes, yes. So that I look like in the center of attention. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you want it to be like a, a, a dress, a fashionable dress from no, from from know. one of the um, cities, or would you prefer it to be like a like a like a, a suit, you know, a woman's suit or power suit pair? I think I'd like um, those very full pants that do look like a skirt when your legs are closed. Yeah. So that, like it can still be like. I, can still I know exactly gender. what you're talking about. Yes, and I'll yes. I'll have a fancy jacket, but it won't be too tailored in at the waist so that it's not too feminine as well. Excellent. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it just ex it it's 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 manly yet feminine, accentuates your curves, and you know makes you a proud woman. It depends on my. And also, you, you can run in it. Posture. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can totally run in it. You've got you know freedom of movement. It's you know the, the what what are the, the rebellious princess look. Layer <laughs> look. <laughs> yes, well, guys, I was each assigned to your rooms. Um, like I said it's late well, afternoon. People are busting into I'm the also tavern. Craftsmanship clothing, if that helps. Everybody basically in the party has good craftsmanship or good clothing. Good, <laughs> a good, good nice. set of good good clothing to be. No, Taris knows, yeah. Daddy knows that when you are encountering nobles, you need to put your best foot forward. And, you know, they look down upon people smudged in, <laughs> in uh, mud and dirt and stuff after a long day's travel. So, yeah, you make sure that you, you guys don't shame him. He is an elf, after all. But Altari, Altari has decided to, um, to re retire for the evening. Uh, to his room and to stay there and study um, what he can. He's leaving you guys up to your own shenanigans. He just expects you to be wide awake, bright and early in time for breakfast uh, when the sun is just over the horizon. Because he wants to get cracking on this investigation. The ruin. And he, so he that you guys saw from the top of the hill. Because I am helping him study the ruins and find these artifacts as fast as we can because time is against him. I will retire and help him do research for the rest of the evening. Excellent! He is grateful of your company because you will also separate him from one of those lovely, lovely, lovely ladies downstairs. And keep his mind occupied. That's not good. I, got, I want Polana. So no, 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 he, no. He's, <laughs> he's just grateful for the company because he no, can't no, be distracted. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay, I've got no interest in focusing on what's happening downstairs <laughs> anyway. To be honest, Rel, Rel can get up, her, up to her own problems. If she causes a mob of some sorts, she has to get up. So I'm going to go upstairs <laughs> and I'm going to meditate for a while. Okay, cool. You do your thing. Uh, you do know that you don't need to sleep, and because you're an high, you're, you're an high elf, yeah, you can meditate for four and a half hours, and that's the equivalent of an eight hours of REM sleep. Exactly. Cool. So, guys, this is where we are ending off our session for tonight. Um, we're on this point where you guys can either go sleep or continue fucking around down in the tavern. I hope you had a great session. I hope the viewers had a good time listening and enjoying to our story. This is just a start, just a taste. Of what is to come um, so there's a lot there, there is totally a lot more intrigue involved in this little beautiful town of Stegan 
and I'm like super happy and excited to, 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 to run it. So yeah, thank you very much. I really enjoyed running for you guys. It was really fun. Here's this is your first role playing game ever. You played wonderfully tonight. I thank you. It was like super awesome to have you with me for your first game. And I feel really honored. JP Angelique, you guys are awesome like always. Thank you so much for making this like fun. So yeah, we will see you guys then next week Friday. Yes, we are the Lucky Packet Party. And every Friday evening from 8 o'clock, we will be getting together and continuing our adventure through the old world. But for tonight, this will be the end of it. And I think we need to go and, you know, show some love to somebody. We should introduce the other streamers first. Oh, um, fuck you, yeah, man! I'm so terrible at this! <laughs> so, we have, we, have, we have more streamers, uh, because everybody here is essentially a streamer. Kays and Ziv Diffie are... Hey, say geeks! <laughs> we are doing the thing. The thing, the thing, the thing. Um... <sighs> Uh, uh, on Twitch, are you the SA Geeks or SA Geeks? The SA Geeks, we're yeah. the SA Geeks everywhere. SA Geeks everywhere. Then we have Zerak UK, who's also a streamer. Go figure, right? Yes, go, go figure. figure. Oh. Um, go search, more <laughs> like. Zerak UK, is it underscore UK or just one word? Uh, you? All together, like my name in the little picture box. Like your name in the picture box. And there we go. Please, guys, go and follow them. Go show them some love. Because, you know, without them, this would not be happening. And a rebellious relief. Do I need to give you a shout out as well? Of course I do. You also stream. I haven't actually started streaming. I just have a channel. <laughs> I, I have to apologize for this. Um, we haven't been following um, Edgar. So we, we we're we're following him now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yay! All right, guys. Um, I think we 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 have some we have some you know clout behind our names you know for tonight's stream, and I would like to go show the love and support to someone else. I see two people that I would love to go you know give a ray to. Um, you know since they're awesome and they're fun, I just wish to know which one we're gonna go do. Shall we? It's I don't want to two. Uh, from my side. Um, so next week you guys can choose somebody to raid. That's okay. We can make turns to choose people to raid. I don't want to be the guy that's always like, raiding somebody that I like only. So, um, top choice for tonight would be Mr. Feed. Because Mr. Feed is always Mr. Feed and he's awesome. Second no second choice for tonight is Melicorn. I'm the sorry, but kids and I are going to vote Feed. Cool, <laughs> Feed. We got the vote. It is and. In superior numbers, we are doing the thing. We are going to Mr. Feed. We're going to go show him some okay love. When I don't follow him, please give him a follow. Um, because he is totally the man. He is totally the gentleman. He is just you make him awesome. really upset, call him the Ed. Oh my god, no. Really? You did that? He said. <gasps> oh my word. I didn't do that when I asked him how do I pronounce his name. I was like, I was like, feed free, feed the, feed the. I oh my word! I can just imagine how he goes a little bit bananas. But I haven't like you know actually been good to him in a while, so this is awesome. Thank you so much for joining the streams. This is awesome, dude.